Good morning and happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Offit Kerman's Remote Rundown. I'm Jim Reese, Director of Business Development at Offit Kerman, and I'm here with employment attorneys Russell Berger, Sarah Sawyer, and Veronica Yu. Um, this is a special edition of Remote Rundown because this is our last edition. Um, we've uh, decided to get on to bigger and better and different things. Uh, this, um, this remote rundown has uh, run its a nice course for seven or so months. Um, and that leads me to uh, the conversation for this morning. Let's talk about the ultimate takeaways from the last uh, seven months of remote rundowns. Um, key takeaways. And let's start with Russell. Yeah, well, first, uh, my number one key takeaway has been a real pleasure working with all of you and uh, Nita uh, off camera over the last six or seven months on this project. Um, I really enjoyed it and it's been great. And, and, and I think that kind of ties into, uh, you know, the, the key takeaway I have for employers, which is there's a ton of stuff going on. There's a ton of stuff changing, but what helps a business get through it is its people. And, and that's banding together, working together, being creative, trying new things, evolving as you go. Um, you know, figuring out ways to stay up to date on the law, figuring out ways to implement new policies. Um, you know, we're in just a, a, such a different world that I, I think it's really critical for employers. You know, I, I've used the words adaptable and flexible repeatedly over uh, the remote rundowns run here. Um, and I think that I, I don't think that's really changed. Um, but just, you know, being able to have a team around you that helps you do those things, I think, is really critical. Thanks, Russell. Veronica, how about you? Well, thanks to everyone, too, who's been viewing, and it's been great working with you all, too. Um, I think my big takeaway is that COVID's not going away anytime soon, and, you know, there's going to continue to be issues, especially with employers and their employees, um, as, you know, we continue to deal with the pandemic. Um, and I just have you remember that, you know, a big, you know, there's big issues that are going to continue to come up. One of them that's just come up this week you know, as people begin to enter the physical workplace again, there's going to be a lot of people who are concerned that may be high risk um, due to the number of conditions listed on the CDC's website that are going to want accommodations. And, you know, I think the biggest thing to remember is that you have to engage in the interactive process with this, these employees and that the process works both ways. I think sometimes we forget that not only the employer has to interact, but also the employee. And um, like many other things dealing with COVID, we recommend that you document all of these efforts um, and just do the best and, and make a good faith effort to engage with these employees as we continue you know, to navigate the pandemic. Sarah. Yeah, also thank you for, uh, for everybody for the the last six or seven months this has been great. And um, you know, my, my main takeaway uh, kind of to, to build on what Russell and Veronica have already said is the adaptability and continuing to just make sure that you're staying up to date with things. And it seems that with this pandemic, with each season coming, um, now that this has been going on for multiple seasons, <laughs> multiple months. Um, so really finding ways to uh, not just get by, but also use, um, you know, you use adaptability to your advantage almost, you know, find ways to, um, to make it through, but also to to flourish during this time and to think ahead and stay ahead of the curve. Um, and it can actually be, you know, if, if you are in your industry and you're paying attention to what's going on and what what you need to comply with and the challenges that are ahead, then you're you're ahead of the game, and um, you know you can actually potentially uh, have a competitive advantage there to, by staying staying on top of things and making sure that you're you're ready to adapt at any. Any moment, because um, you know, as uh, Veronica and Russell have both hit on, this isn't you know the pandemic obviously isn't isn't going anywhere, unfortunately. So when we first started this, we thought you know it was going to be a couple week thing, and um, obviously we're still here months later. So uh, yeah, I think that's really my key takeaway is just to to continue to be ready to adapt and change and um, remain compliant and and uh, be creative. Great, thanks, Sarah. Um, so I, I too uh, have really enjoyed. I too really have joy, enjoyed enjoyed uh, remote rundown. 
Uh, I too want to thank Nita for her uh, technical help behind the scenes. And uh, this has been a great learning experience for me. I learned an awful lot about uh, labor and employment law, especially as it relates to uh, COVID-19. So um, let's see, starting with Sarah, what's your favorite memory from the last six or seven months of remote rundown? Um, so many great ones. Um, I would say, I really liked Russell's birthday episode. I thought that was a lot of fun. I really like, um, you know, it was it was fun to kind of, uh, we weren't able to celebrate Russell's birthday in person in the office. So this was a really great way to connect um, for something like that. And just generally, like this has been a great way to connect with my colleagues without being in the office. So I think overall, that's really been my, one of my favorite parts. Veronica, how about you? Favorite memory? Hands down, my favorite memory was when Jim pointed out um, a comment on Russell's LinkedIn page about whether or not his hairstyle was considered a mullet. And um, Russell proceeded to then define um, what a mullet is in comparison with his current hairstyle. And um, you guys can look back if you want to know what that is. But uh, <laughs> that was by far... Um, that's uh, you took one of mine away. How about you, Russell? I know. I mean, you've taken my birthday and my hair already. So uh, I guess I got to come up with with something else. Um, yeah, I, I mean, uh, you know, I it's funny. So those are kind of stand out moments for me. Um, but but I really do think that um, more than anything, it, it's really just been like uh, like the ten minutes before we start recording every week where we just kind of get to catch up and say, hey, what do we want to talk about? And, and um, you know, we just get to have that like moment where uh, like if we we're in the office, we'd be able to have that time. And, um, you know, obviously we're not getting that right now. So it, it, that's kind of my, you know, I, that's a, a 10 minute part of the week that I'll definitely miss. Yeah. So for me, uh, let's see, I'm, I'll go around the horn for uh, my one great memory is uh, is uh, Sarah and the drag racing that occurs uh, up and down her street during recordings. Um, for Veronica, it's her, her lovely dog, Ellie, who is so well behaved, who visits us every now and then. Uh, and then for Russell, it, back to the hair, because uh, that, that, that definitely takes the cake. So um, this has been awesome. I thank uh, all of you, including Nita, as I said before. and. Uh, Look forward to continued success for all of us. And um, we'll, we'll see you next time, maybe in the office sometime soon. So thank you all. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Thank you.